नमस्कार दर्शक बंधु मुझे लर्णिंग इज फन यूट्यूब चैनल को स्वागत कर टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द जनरल स्टडीज पेपर ऑन क्वेश्चन ऑफ ओडिशा सिविल सर्विस फिल्म एग्जामिनेशन व्हिच वाज हेल्ड ऑन 25 नवंबर 2018 स्टार्टिंग विद द सेकंड क्वेश्चन सेरिकल्चर इज अ रियरिंग प्रैक्टिस ऑफ डैश सो सेरिकल्चर और सिल्क फार्मिंग इज द कल्टीवेशन ऑफ सिल्क वर्म्स टू प्रोड्यूस सिल्क सो द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी बायो मैग्निफिकेशन रेफर्स टू एन इंक्रीज इन द नंबर ऑफ क्वांटिटी ऑफ टॉक्सिकेंट्स ऑप्शन डी ब्लू बेबी सिंड्रोम इज कॉज्ड ड्यू टू द एक्सेस ऑफ डैश so blue baby syndrome is an illness that begins when large amounts of nitrates in water are ingested by an infant and converted to nitrate by the digestive system and the nitrate then reacts with the oxyhemoglobin that is the oxygen carrying blood protein to form methoglobin which cannot carry oxygen so the right answer is nitrate option a the rocket works on the principle of dash and the right answer is newton's third law that is for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction brightness of the bulb decreases gradually with it with its period of use because of evaporation of metal from filament of bulb option a genetic disorder are dash so the right answer may be communicable or non communicable disease i am not sure about the answer if you know the answer then please post it in the comment section where does computer add and compare data and the right answer is cpu chip option d full form of icmr is indian council of medical research option b antioxidants present in food stuffs are dash so the right answer is all of the above option d Which of the following is not a biodegradable pollutant? And the right answer is pesticide. Chlorofluorocarbon are widely used in so chlorofluorocarbon used in refrigerator, micro ovens, and also air conditioner. So the right answer is all of the above. Cement is widely used in the construction of building. It contains calcium silicate, aluminate, and also sulfur aluminate. So the right answer is option D. Which is not the characteristic of an enzyme? I am not sure about the answer. If you know the answer, then please post it in the comment section. A fuse is a dash. So a fuse is a safety device and regulates flow of current. It is also made of tin and lead alloy, and it has a low melting point. So the right answer is option D. The United Nations World Youth Skill Day is observed on 15 July. Next question: Which state government has launched a smartphone application I Hariyali to increase green cover? And the right answer is Punjab. Which of the following states in India has maximum number of UNESCO World Heritage Site? So the right answer is Maharashtra because Maharashtra has around five. UNESCO World Heritage Site they are Ajanta Caves Ellora Caves Elephanta Caves Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus the Victorian and Art Deco and Odisha as we all know Odisha has only one that is Sun Temple Konark and Tamil Nadu has two that is group of monuments of Mahabalipuram and great living jewel temples similarly Karnataka has also two UNESCO World Heritage Site they are group of monuments of Hampi and Pat, uh, Patadakal so the right answer is Maharashtra option A Who has been honored with the 2018 Sri Jayadev Rashtriya Yuva Pratibha Award? And the right answer is Arindita Anam. He is a Kathak. Sorry, she is a Kathak dancer, and uh, she got the award for outstanding contribution in the field of art. Which Indian American personality has become of the first South Asian to be elected in origin in the Western USA? So the right answer is Susila Joypal. Option A. C. V. Rajendran, who died recently, was associated with film industry. He was an Indian film director who worked in Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada, and Hindi film industry. Kajuo Isiguro won Nobel Prize for Literature 2017. So the right answer is option C. The Chakrasila Wildlife Sanctuary is located in Dhubri and Korajhara district of Assam. It is famous for the golden langur. So the right answer is option A. Which country has renamed part of South China Sea as the North Natuna Sea? Right answer is Indonesia. Option A. Which one? Which one below is not a statutory body? So right answer is Niti Aayog because Niti Aayog is neither mentioned in the constitution nor it has been established by an act of parliament. So it is therefore neither a constitutional body nor a statutory body. Which Indian personality has been appointed as public policy fellow at Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars? And the right answer is Nirupama Rao. Option A. The World Milk Day is observed on Dash. So the World Milk Day is observed on June first each year since two thousand one. This day is established by the Food and Agriculture Organization that is FAO and its headquarters is Rome, Italy. Where is the headquarters of United Nations Economic and Social Council? So the right answer is New York, option D. Which venue is selected for 2024 Olympic Games and the right answer is Paris, France. Which commission under the British rule prepared the famine code and the right answer is Strachey Commission in 1880. In the session of all party Muslim conference held at Delhi on 31 December 1928. Was prescribed over by Aga Khan. Option A. Thirty-two. During the Rajput period, the expression "Bina Sethi Stapak" was used in administration for death. I am not sure about the answer. If you know the answer, then please post the answer in the comment section. Who started the newspaper Indian Sociologist Abroad? And the right answer is 
Samji Krishnan Verma in January 1905. In which of its sessions the Congress declared its policy towards Indian state for the first time? And the right answer is Nagpur session in 1920. Who was the author of the book The Problem of the East? And the right answer is George Curzon, that is option C. And the book was published on 1894. Who among the following continuously emphasized on giving self rule to India in 1904, 1905, and 1906? And the right answer is Balgangadhar Tilak. The editor of the paper Hindu Patriot, Sri Harishindra Mukherjee, was known to have helped the dash. So the right answer is Indigo Revolt, and it is this revolt was made by Indigo farmers in Bengal in 1859. 39. Which European nation was first in bringing printing press to India? And the right answer is Portugal. And the first printing operation began in Goa in 1556. Number 38 I am not sure about the answer so please post the answer in the comment section who among us the following established diwane e amir khoti during delhi sultanate and the right answer is mohammed bin tughlaq diwane e amir khoti means it is a department of agriculture in mughal period who translated author beda in persian language and the right answer is haji ibrahim sarhindi he is a persian writer during the reign of akbar tebaga revolt of 1946 took place in bengal by the kisan sabha Who was elected to the House of Commons to speak for Indians' interest in 1890s? And the right answer is Dada Bhai Naroji. He is also known as Grand Old Man of India. He was a member of Parliament in the United Kingdom House of Commons between 1892 and 1895, and the first Indian to be a British MP. Least cost approach in industrial location is associated with Weber. It is also called Weber's location theory, and it was given by Alfred Weber. He was a German economist, geographer, and sociologist who formulated a theory of industrial location in which an industry is located where the transportation cost of raw materials and final product is a minimum. Which one is a primary activity? And the right answer is mining. The activities are three types: one is primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary activities example are agriculture, forestry, fishing, mining, and extraction of oil and gas. Number forty-seven. The line joining points with equal cloud cover is called Ison F. Number forty-six. Horticulture is widely farmed in Delhi. I think the right answer is uh, subtropical tropical region. Not sure about the answer. Please post the answer in the comment section. Location of sugar industry in India is moving from North India to South India because of high yield and high sugar content in sugar cane. Option D. Leverensum was coined by German geographer Friedrich Ratzel. Option D. The spread of culture trades from one region to other is called cultural diffusion. Option A. One Belt One Road policy related to China. This initiative was taken by Chinese President Xi Jinping. One Belt One Belt one, Sorry One Belt One Road policy is also called the Belt and Road Initiative, the Silk Road Economic Belt, and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road. The major division of agriculture regions of the world is associated with Dias. And the right answer is option A. Which one of the following is incorrect? That is option D. That is depositional activity of glacier making hanging valleys. Because a hanging valley is a tributary valley and it is situated higher than main valley. So hanging valley does not form depositional activity in glacier. Number fifty-five. U-shaped valley is formed by dash. And the right answer is glacier because when a tributary glacier, that is the hanging valley, flows into a glacier of large volume, that is the main valley, these two glaciers associated with each other with U-shaped valleys. So U-shaped valley is formed by glacier. Process that saves the earth surface is called option D geomorphic process. Mist is formed as a result of condensation. It is the conversion of a vapor or gas into liquid. Like the cloud is caused by condensation of the air, and condensation is the reverse of vaporization. Which river is not a peninsula river? And the right answer is Ghagra. Option A. Which of the following is not the recommendation of Dinesh Goswami Committee on Electoral Reforms? That is option C. Which one of the following subject, subjects is not included in the concurrent list? That is option D, capitation taxes. Which is not the discretionary power of the President of India? And the right answer is option D, that is summon and dissolve Parliament sessions. Because in case of no sitting of both houses under Article 85, the President can summon each house of Parliament to meet at such time and place as he thinks. But in case of no confidence motion, President can dissolve Lok Sabha when Council of Ministers. Loses the majority in Lok Sabha, but he can dissolve Lok Sabha only on the advice of Council of Minister. But the advice is binding only if the government is a majority government. So the summon and dissolve is not a discretionary power of the President of India. 61. Which article of Indian Constitution speaks about the official language of Indian Union? That is Article 343, Option C. In which year simultaneous election both the Lok Sabha and all states legislative assembly were not held? And the right answer is 1971. 62. 
Because after independence, the first election was held simultaneously for the parliament and state assemblies in 1952, and this practice was held in 1957, 62, and 67. And the next, that is fifth general election, was due in 1972. But in early 1971, former Prime Minister Simhati Indira Gandhi dissolved the Lok Sabha, and thus the fifth general election was held in March 1971 instead of 1972. and the state assembly election took place as scheduled in 1972 this is how the initial delinking of lok sabha and assembly election took place next uh, 64 the gst bill which came into implementation from 1st july 2017 is bill number 122 and act number 101 that is option a article 21 of indian constitution secures option d right to life personal liberty and right to privacy 66 which on the one of the following is not the feature of the national capital goods policy 2016 that is option c increase imports of capital goods to which state in indian union article 30 may be relates and the right answer is jammu and kashmir option c which of the following articles were repealed from indian constitution by constitution 26th amendment act 1971 that is option a mission satyanishtha is a program launched by indian railway to wipe out corruption option d About question number 63 and question number 70, I am not sure about the answer. If you know the answer, please post the answer in the comment section. This is the model developed by the government of India for public service delivery as a part of citizen-centric governance. That is the bottom option A. The number of states covered under the provision of Panchayat Act 1996 are this. I think the right answer will be 10. As you can see in the screen, according to the provision of Panchayat Act 1996, at present fifth scheduled area exists in 10 states. That is Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha, Rajasthan, and Telangana. Uh, so 10 is not an option. So if you have any other explanation, then please post the answer in the comment section. World Economic Outlook report is published by DAS and it was published by IMF. That is International Monetary Fund. Both IMF and World Bank has a headquarters in Washington DC, United States. Which of the following sector now contribute the largest percentage towards GNP? That is gross national product. And the right answer is service sector. The answer cannot be agriculture sector, as the uh, agriculture sector is the largest employer in in Indian economy, but it does not contribute the largest percentage towards GNP. OTCI is DAS. The full form, full form of OTCI is the Over the Counter Exchange of India, and it is an electronic stock exchange in Mumbai. So the right answer option C, an Indian share market. National income in India is estimated by Central Statistical Organisation that is option B to lower interest rates the RBI should buy securities number 79 mixed economy means an economy where the where there is a coexistence of public sector along with the private sector option B absolute poverty means dash so absolute poverty extreme poverty adjacent poverty was originally defined by the united nation in 1995 as a condition characterized by severe deprivation of basic human needs that is uh, including food safe drinking water sanitation facility health shelter education and information so the right answer is option b who wrote the book planned economy for india that is option a nationalization of banks has done with purpose of consolidating the economy that is option c the headquarter of world trade organization that is wto is in geneva switzerland Which of the following is true about the Hindu growth rate in India? So the Hindu rate of growth is a term referring to the low annual growth rate of the planned economy of India before the liberation of 1991, which stagnated around 3.5 percentage from 1950 to 1980, while per capita income growth averaged 1.3 percent. So the right answer is option D. What are the gilt edge security? So option D, is, option B is the right answer. That is security issued by the government. So what is the definition of gilt edge securities? Government securities. are instruments issued by the government to borrow money from the market which is known as gilts or gilt as securities 86 one criticism of uh, rostos theory of economy growth rate is that it does that is uh, option d is the right answer which of the following is ranked one among the cleanest city of india in 2018 ranking by ministry of urban development that is indore is the right answer which of the following in india is enlisted in montrex record so there are two places in india enlisted in the montrex record the first one is Kelodio National Park which is in Rajasthan the second is Loktak Lake in Manipur here the right answer is option A which among the following is the most abundant greenhouse gas that is GHG in the earth's atmosphere so greenhouse gases are those that absorb and emit infrared radiation in the wavelength range emitted by earth so the most abundant greenhouse gases in earth atmosphere are first water vapor H2O carbon dioxide CO2 methane CH4 nitrous oxide N2O ozone O3 chlorofluorocarbon cfc hydrofluorocarbons scfc and hfc so here the right answer is water vapor option b 
which of the which one of the following is a useful biological indicator of sulfur dioxide pollution and the right answer is lichen option d the use of microorganism metabolism to remove pollutants such as oil spills in water bodies is known as bioremediation option b so bioremediation is the use of either naturally occurring or deliberately introduced microorganism to consume and break down environmental pollutants in order to clean a polluted site 92 india's first biofuel power fight uh, run from dehradun to delhi is spice jet option a which among the following is one of the largest wintering ground from the for the migratory waterfall in india and the right answer is chilika lake odisha option b which among the following is the unit of measurement of ecological footprint and the right answer is global hectare and its symbol is small g h a anuradha sahani is well known for her work in which of the following fields and the right answer is animal rights option b respiratory suspended particle matter that is rspm are the particles having diameter dash so rspm is generally classified as pm10 having diameter 10 to 2.5 micron and pm2.5 under 2.5 micron so here the right answer is option a that is less than 2.5 micrometer then uh, 97 fire can be controlled by removing both fuel and air so here the right answer is option c 99 the human skeleton consists of dash so the human skeleton is the internal framework of the body it is composed of around 270 bones at birth and this total decreases to around 206 bones by adulthood after some bones get fused together so the human skeleton can be divided into the exoskeletal skeleton and the appendicular skeleton so here the right answer is option c that is 206 bones last angiography is used to visualize lumen of dash the right answer all of the above because angiography or arteriography is a medical imaging technique which is used to visualize the inside or lumen of blood vessels and organs of the body about question number 98 i think the right answer will be c or d i am not sure about the answer so from 100 question i left four to five questions because i am not sure about the answer of those questions so if you know the answer of the question then please post the answer in the comment section with valid reason thank you thank you friends for watching this video i hope all of you like this video if you found this video helpful then don't forget to subscribe this channel and stay tuned to this channel to watch more videos thank you